This was a post hoc analysis of sexual function measurements in three large randomized trials of elazodone versus placebo in patients with generalized anxiety disorder. We know that sexual dysfunction is commonly associated with major depressive disorder, but less is known about sexual dysfunction in generalized anxiety disorder. Although medications such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, may improve the core symptoms of depression and anxiety, they can also lead to unwanted sexual side effects. Velazidone is an SSRI and 5-HT1A receptor partial agonist approved for the treatment of major depressive disorder in adults. The effects of velazidone on sexual functioning in depressed patients were similar to those of placebo. In three large randomized trials of generalized anxiety disorder, anxiety symptom improvements were significantly greater with velazidone than with placebo. A post hoc analysis of the generalized anxiety disorder studies was conducted to characterize sexual dysfunction in this patient population and to evaluate the effects of velazidone versus placebo on sexual functioning. The three randomized trials of velazidone versus placebo provided a large sample of patients with generalized anxiety disorder who were treated for eight weeks. Sexual functioning was assessed in these trials using the validated and gender-specific Changes in Sexual Functioning Questionnaire, or CSFQ. In the pooled study population, demographics were similar between treatment groups. On average, generalized anxiety disorder was first diagnosed 13 years prior to study entry. Approximately 15% of patients had previously been treated with medication for this condition. At baseline, 35 to 40 percent of men and 45 to 48 percent of women had sexual dysfunction based on CSFQ total score validated thresholds. As expected, due to randomization, the prevalence of sexual dysfunction within each gender was similar in the placebo and velazidone treatment groups. Changes in CSFQ total score indicated that both men and women had mean improvements from baseline in sexual functioning. Differences between velazidone and placebo were not statistically significant. Results were similar comparing men older than 50 years versus younger men and comparing women older than 50 years versus younger women. The incidence of self-reported adverse experiences was low in both men and women taking velazidone. In men treated with velazidone, the most common adverse experiences were erectile dysfunction and delayed ejaculation, each affecting approximately 2% of men. In conclusion, sexual dysfunction was common at baseline in both men and women with generalized anxiety disorder. Velazidone and placebo had similar effects using a validated measure of sexual functioning in both women and men indicating a limited adverse impact on sexual functioning with velazidone.